Hello and welcome to another Miss Carter Science Special. In this video, we'll be looking at transpiration and what affects the rate of transpiration in plants. So transpiration is the rate of water loss by evaporation through the stomata from the leaves of a plant. How does this work? Why? Why is it that we lose water through the stomata? Well, it's all to do with diffusion. And outside the leaves, there will be a very low concentration of water outside the leaves. And therefore, a high concentration of water in the air spaces of the leaf. So water will diffuse out of the leaves through the stomata, moving from a high concentration to a low concentration. This will lower the concentration of water in the air spaces within the leaf itself. So the water will actually evaporate from the mesophyll cells into the air spaces and this in turn pulls water up from the xylem tissues and the roots. And this constant movement of water molecules through the xylem from the roots to the leaves is known as a transpiration stream. So as we've already said, transpiration is the rate of water loss by evaporation through the stomata from the leaves of a plant and it's evaporation because the water is actually evaporating um, from the cells where it's a liquid into the air spaces where it becomes a gas a vapor which can then leave through the stomata now the rate at which this water is lost is known as the rate of transpiration and there are various different factors that can affect the rate of this transpiration wind speed temperature, humidity and light intensity will all affect the rate of transpiration. But how? And how can we work out um, and investigate this? Well, in order to investigate it, we need to use a piece of equipment called a pitometer. We take the pitometer, which you can see here, and we cut a plant stem and we seal it into the pitometer using a rubber bung. This must be done underwater so we don't accidentally introduce any air bubbles into the system. We then fill the pitometer with water and deliberately introduce a single air bubble into the capillary tube. The distance that this bubble travels will show you how much water the stem has taken up. So as our stem, as our leaves are losing water through transpiration, that water has to be replaced from the pitometer. And as the water flows up into the plant stem, it draws water along the capillary tube, which means our air bubble moves. So we can see how far that air bubble moves by placing a ruler behind it and measuring the distance in millimeters per minute. Now, it might move very slowly, so you might have to measure how far it moves in 10 minutes and divide that distance by 10 to find your rate per minute. And this gives an indirect measurement of the rate of transpiration. So here we can see an actual pitometer and you would normally have that ruler permanently placed behind it so you could measure in millimeters how far the air bubble moves. Now, you can take that equipment and you can use it to investigate how different factors affect the rate of transpiration. For example, light intensity. You can place a lamp a certain distance away from your leaves of the plant and then move that light further and further away, decreasing the light intensity. And you can uh, measure how the rate of transpiration changes. So if you do that experiment, you'll find that as the light intensity increases, the rate of transpiration increases. And this is because there's more light energy, so there is more photosynthesis, so more stomata open to allow in more carbon dioxide for use in photosynthesis. And this increases the surface area that water can diffuse through. So more stomata are open, more water will diffuse out and the, of the leaf at a faster rate. Therefore, the rate of transpiration will increase. You should learn these little paragraphs. They are fantastic six mark answers explaining how each factor affects the rate of photosynthesis. Sorry, the rate of transpiration. So how would humidity affect the rate of transpiration? Well, as humidity increases, the rate of transpiration 
decreases. And this is because there's more water particles in the air outside the leaf's stomata. So this decreases the concentration gradient. So water vapor diffuses out of a leaf at a slower rate and therefore the rate of transpiration decreases. So just to sort of repeat that, have a little think about large layers of moisture and water particles all around the outside of each leaf, um, decreasing the concentration gradient and therefore decreasing the rate of diffusion and the rate of transpiration of water moving out through those leaves. What about wind speed then? What about a windy day? Well, again, we could use our potometer and we could take a fan and move that fan closer and closer to the potometer. Or we could put the fan in a fixed position, but increase the speed using the dial down here. And what we would find out is that as wind speed increases, the rate of transpiration increases. And this is because the wind blows away the particles of the water that are close to the leaf. So there's fewer particles in the air outside the leaf stomata, and this increases the concentration gradient. So water vapor diffuses out of the leaf at a faster rate. And therefore the rate of diffusion, sorry, the rate of transpiration increases. The final experiment we could do, again using the potometer, is to change the temperature. Now, as the temperature increases, the rate of transpiration increases. And this is because the particles of water vapor will be gaining kinetic energy and moving more. So the particles outside the leaf will move away from the leaf faster. So there are fewer particles of water particles in the air outside the leaf stomata. And this increases the concentration gradient. There'll be a greater difference between the air spaces within the leaf and the um, water vapor outside the leaf so the water vapor will diffuse out of the leaf at a faster rate therefore the rate of transpiration will increase i hope you've enjoyed this short video on transpiration and the factors affecting transpiration if you have don't forget to like and subscribe and comment below to let me know what you've learned thank you very much for your time